Hi there, welcome to another video. Uh, this is a slightly different one. I'm going to be painting a paint your own ceramic shark. Um, if that's the sort of thing that interests you, please watch the whole video. Like, subscribe, ding the little bell thing, um, share with your friends. You never know who might like a little shark. Um, so basically it's one of those things that comes with the ceramic shark which is also a uh, money box obviously as you can tell by the slot in the top uh, and it comes with a little brush and some paints and under normal circumstances you can use that to Paint your shark, have the fun. There's enough paint there to cover the whole shark. Uh, but I've decided not to do that. So I'm going to start off with the base of using the black and white. Make a nice grey base for my shark because, you know, everyone likes a great white shark or something. I don't know if it's going to be a, a great white shark. Yeah, great white shark. I don't know if it's going to be a great white, but great whites aren't really white. At this point, I have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. So no real change there. Shan't worry about it too much though. Anyway, uh, I'm going to start off with a grey base because it's just nice to start with, you know, get over that whole, oh my God, it's plain. I don't know what to do with it. Uh, I did think about adding some like, molded bits and making it look fancier but I kind of wanted to do a quick video partially because as you can see a quick video uh, so this is just going to be a really sort of sloppy grey base on everything just <laughs> sorry if you don't like that noise I apologize I'm just disgusted so but I mean you could do that with your shark anyway probably need a couple of coats to make it a nice even coat because it it sometimes this paint is a little runny uh yes i have done this sort of thing before um but as i say i'm gonna, just going to use the paint that's included as a base i'm going to do most of the painting with um posca pens because you know i love posca pens i also have to justify having bought them let's be honest i can't just have them there and get them out of something and just look at them and go "Ooh, all the colors no no i have to occasionally use them to you know make myself feel better no one else is judging me just me i am judging myself but there you go but as you can see you get a fairly good coating of color on it with the stuff that's already there so you know I'm not using that brush, but I am using, weirdly enough, I am using a Hobbycraft brush. It's one of their value brushes. Um, it did shed a couple of hairs while I was painting, so it wasn't ideal. But by the time I got... Oh, okay. I've jumped from one thing to another. I don't know what I was doing there. But yeah, so this is me just starting a Posca pen up. Because you have to give them a good jolt shake and then you press the nibbin. Nibbin? Nibbin. You have to press the nib in. So this is a uh, slate grey, which I didn't even know that was a colour they did until fairly recently. And it's just this really nice dark blue grey. Uh, yeah. So as you can see, the paint that came with it dries quite matte because it's an acrylic paint. And again, the Posca is going to dry quite matte. But... I have a solution to this, which will become apparent shortly. Um, yeah. So, uh, painty, painty, painty. I kind of like this shark because it's got a kind of, it's got an odd expression. It's kind of, well, I mean, sharks have a kind, well, most sharks have a kind of sort of, because they've got such a dark, eye with no eyelid 
they look kind of dead eyed. They're not, obviously, and I'm sure there are many people out there who feel that sharks are incredibly cute. Uh, I'm quite fond of them. I think they're quite useful. You know, they they fill an evolutionary niche. They're very old creatures and should be respected as such. Um, But yeah, so just giving it... What I'm doing is the top of the shark is going to be one shade of grey and the bottom of the shark is going to be another shade of grey. It's okay. There are only two shades of grey being used here. So don't worry that it's going to get a bit weird or bondagey or anything. Um, yeah, so that's that. And yes, I again, I am covering pretty much the whole thing. Uh, just because it's easier. Especially because that one's like... The, the tip of that chisel pen is about... A centimetre wide, so it's really well, a little bit of a centimetre, a little bit over a centimetre wide. So it's really hard to do delicate lining. So it's just a case of going over things over and over. I'll tell you. So this is the other colour I want to do, which is just Posca. It's just their grey, uh, which is a really nice shade. It's a really nice shade of grey. It's really hard to talk about shades of grey these days without feeling that you're being slightly smutty. But then that's just the modern era for you. Um, But yeah, as you can see, it's a really nice sort of medium to light grey. And it's a good contrast with the other one. When it's finished, it won't be that much of a contrast, I'm afraid. Um, Which is a shame. I might change it again but at the moment I'm just doing block colouring block 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 so yeah as you can see it's a nice quick way of doing it um the whole paint actually took me only I think it was about an hour and a quarter to do the whole thing so that gives you an idea of how fast it dries how fast you can use this stuff um obviously if you're being less fussy than I was being you could do it in faster I mean I've, in the end I'm going to put some details in there just to make it to my preference as you can see I did the nice dead black eyes now they look shiny at the moment but when they dry they're going to be really really matte so uh, see and I did the the black outside the lines as well I thought I had a black brush pen but it turns out that it's all dried up and I meant to get a new one, but, you know, funds. So I'm doing a bit of an outline here. Uh, and try and blend it. Uh, yeah, it went wrong. Yes, it sometimes does. But, you know, life be like that. So, yeah, so this is, a pro- this is now the process of me trying to fix the eyes. So it's like, uh. And I've only got the slate grey and the massive chisel tip. So it's really, really hard to do. Um, and as I say, that the black I've only got in the... I think the, the smallest I've got is the 3M, which is sort of... It's okay, but it's kind of a chunk... Thank you, Scooter Man. Anyway, it was a chunky bullet tip that I used before, but I'm using a wet brush here to... Or we used a wet brush... To move it around a bit, the paint that is. I'm about to have a pleasant interruption. A oh, man. What are you? Oh, mm. Kiss, kiss. Mm. Love you. Love you. No, no, no. Because because I'm I'm recording not uh recording vision not sound at the minute. Hey. Thank you. You're a super. Mm. Oh, that's a good stuff. I was definitely going to say stuff. Anyway, back to the shark. Uh, For some reason, I've done my usual trick of trying to do it off camera. But here you go. Here's some eye highlights. Um, Yeah. I don't know. A bit cute for a shark, maybe. But anyway, teeth, 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 teeth. Uh, like Mac the Knife, 
the shark has pretty teeth, dear, and he shows them pearly white. And that's how it goes. Uh, so, of course, I have to do pearly white teeth, though they're not very pearly. Again, as I say, Posca's generally dry, kind of op opaque. Well, they are opaque, but they dry matte. Matte's the word I'm looking for. Um, I'm slightly concerned. The uh, brush that it comes with is a bit basic. I'm not entirely sure yet how you can do this bit with the brush that it comes with, but I don't know. I suppose you could trim it if you're that bothered. Um, but then they are designed for kids, not grown up, so I shouldn't be so judgmental. But I don't know. Actually, if it's designed for kids, do you really want to give them stuff that might put them off doing more arts and crafts stuff? I mean, if it's so frustrating that they can't get it the way they want it, is it worth it? But at the same time, it's designed for a wide range of children, so it's it's a very tricky line. It's it's a bit of a tightrope, really. Um, okay, so teeth and eyes, and here here I'm getting a bit fanciful. I'm putting gums on the thing, so obviously you probably I don't know I don't know what colour are shark gums. I suppose pinkish, I mean, white, grey, sort of beige, I don't know. But I'm kind of anthropomorphizing slightly here. Um, yeah, that's it really, gums, what are you going to do? Ah, and a red between, just a add a bit of something because uh, I don't know just grey and grey is a bit meh so yeah you got some white teeth a bit of red background obviously the we, bleh, what comes with the kit is like a really bright red so you could go quite horrifying with this but I've got here a nice burgundy colour so hopefully it doesn't look too terrifying I'm not saying it's not going to look terrifying by the end, but uh, at the moment it's not too terrifying. She says having a sip of drink from her can. Uh, yeah, so many teeth, so many teeth. Mind you, at least it's not got the same number of teeth as a real shark, because that would be bad. Uh, what's this one? Oh, I think this might be the metallic blue. Yes, the metallic blue. You'll like this. I hope. So what I'm doing is getting a bit of texture, but also a bit of shimmer. So I've got the metallic blue, but I'm then brushing it onto the surface uh, that I've already done. So hopefully some of the grey will show through. So it'll make it look more like it's got rough skin. So I'm just doing lines and then rubbing it on. Uh, also kind of want to make it look sleek, even though it's chonkers little boy with an eye boy with an eye but yeah so we've got this sort of trying to get it looking both shiny and dangerous but without but in a cute way um, kind of like a blue ring octopus incredibly dangerous quite pretty uh, yeah so you can see there can you see it's got sort of almost like go faster lines which is yeah so I'm going to do some crisscrossing because shark skin is actually quite rough in real life so it tends to be sort of it's not scaly like normal fish it's got sort of rough plate things so i'm going to give it a bit of crisscross make it look more, a bit more textured just to add a bit of interest um yeah i just wanted to see if this would work so you can see it's kind of got a bit more depth to the color so it's not just grey or just metallic blue and I'm adding silver I'm not sure that the silver is a great thing to do but you know here it is here we are um, I actually think the pale grey was actually not a bad thing I just kind of wanted the bottom to match the top but I'm not sure about it now but you know hey so leave a comment 
below if you think I should go back to just the plain grey or if you like the silver effect. Let me know. Um, here I am. What am I doing with him now? Oh, could, can I see what I'm doing? Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. I, had, I just happened to have some nail varnish on my desk and thought, heck, do you know what? Let's add some glitter to those eyes. Make them glittery. Glittery eyes. So I'm adding back in the highlights. But it's also got glossy, glittery eyes because I put nail polish on it. I actually quite like it as an effect. So I'm going to give him a few scars here because, you know, I, I believe this is a shark that's been around the block a few times. He's had a few fights. Uh, maybe got aggressive with the occasional motorboat. Uh, or particularly aggressive surfer. But uh, yeah, give him a little bit of scarring. Uh, make his gills stand out because they're quite important, you know. Uh, I really wish I could get my act together and get things on the flipping camera a bit, bit more clearly. But yeah, so to do this, I use a combination of like the rubbing technique I used for the flesh, but also uh, use some uh, wet brush just to pull the lines on the, so that they're softer lines rather than being like a solid line. So they look slightly broken up. Um, it actually worked better than I thought it would because, well, not better than I thought it would, but it, as I was filming it, I didn't feel it was looking particularly good. But uh, looking back on it on the video, it actually it's not too bad. I'm not anti it. I'm not anti it. Uh, ah, this is so fast. Doing it too fast. Oh no. Will I be able to catch myself? Oh, here we go. So, yeah. Uh, he's had a few fights with a few motorboats. He's had... Uh, a life, you know, he's a, he's a bit of a rough housing shark. Uh, I hope you like him. And if you have made it this far into the video and you haven't subscribed or liked, please do. It is really worth it. I am trying to get at least one video a week. Um, if I can get Kevin to do more videos, I'm, I'm working on him, but he's, you know, it's it's been tricky. Uh, please like, please subscribe, please share with your friends because we want lots of friends. This shark wants lots of, look at him. He's a friendly shark. He's only curious. That's why he's got the scars. And uh, hopefully I'll see you next time. You take care. Bye.